Hey there, I'm Ben. Welcome to the channel. Today we're talking about what I think might be the best rooftop tent in the game, the iCamper SkyCamp 2.0. Let's get into it. I've had the iCamper for a few months now, and have spent dozens of nights in it. There's some things that I really like about it, and some places it comes up short. I don't know if I'll ever get used to just how quickly you can set up or tear down this tent. You pull into camp, unlock the latches, and let the gas struts do the work. It literally does only take minutes. And speaking of latches, it's a small thing, but it's actually one of the features that I'm really happy with. The upgraded locking latches on the 2.0 model are great. They're easy to use and add a sense of security since this is my daily driver and it's just parked around town normally. My absolute favorite part of this tent though has to be just how spacious it is. With the amount of floor space and headroom you get, you can comfortably fit three adults in there, or a family of four, I'm sure. I also think the improvements to the ladder are great. It's extremely stable and easy to climb. Now, for as much as I do like this tent, I do feel like there are a few things that could be improved, and I think I've gotta talk about them so that if you're in the market for a rooftop tent, you can make a fully informed decision. Uh, most of it does come down to personal preference at the end of the day though, so I would highly suggest finding a dealer where you can go and try one of these out or you know, a friend in, in one of your local off-road clubs that has one of these rooftop tents for you to try. The first and I think biggest con with this tent, the, the thing that I like the least about it is the mattress that it comes with. Apparently with the 2.0 model, they've completely updated the, the mattress that comes with the tent but it still is just not super comfortable. I think it's too firm. However, uh, I will point out that this is pretty easily remedied. So it's a two piece mattress. Um, obviously there's a, there's a portion that fits over the platform as you unfold the tent. And so you can get on Amazon and, and buy a, a memory foam mattress topper and cut it down to size. Uh, to either go on top of the existing mattress or completely replace it. Or there are some options online like, uh, like buymemoryfoam.com, things like that. I'll drop some links in the description below where you can get custom cut foam to fit the size of, of the mattress for the tent. I think the second thing that comes to mind, um, and it's kind, of, it's kind of a silly one, but with the three ply windows, you've got the mesh layer, the, the clear vinyl, and, and the rain fly layer, um, with the moon roof that also has the, the, the canvas to, to close it off and the mesh layer in the door, it all adds up to just a ton of zipper pulls inside the tent. And I know what you're thinking is, is how can that be a con? Um, the problem is, is that if you've ever camped in a windy environment and wind starts buffeting the walls of the tent, all of those zipper pulls, and it sounds like there's thousands of them, they start clinking together and it just creates just this absolute racket that becomes super annoying. Uh, again, this is a con that's easily remedied, I think, with some paracord on the zipper pulls or, or cover them with some heat shrink tubing or uh, electrical tape even. There, there's a ton of ways to solve it, but I think it is something to point out is, is just that the zipper pulls uh, can be a minor annoyance. Um, and speaking about windows and things, I think that leads me to, to the third big problem that I have with this, and, and that actually is the moonroof. Um, 
So I was super excited for the future of the moonroof, lay back, look up at the stars, things like that. Um, what I really wish they had done here was actually make that clear vinyl window um, something that you could open, just like the two windows on the front and the back. What happens is you fall asleep with the moonroof open and uh, all is well, but then the sun comes up in the morning and uh, really starts to shine in through that clear vinyl and just turns the entire tent into a solar cooker. So those are really the only cons that I have with this tent. Um, otherwise, I think it's, it's really a fantastic option and probably the best rooftop tent that your money can buy right now. So that wraps up this review of the iCamper SkyCamp 2.0. Hopefully you found it informational and it can help some of you make a decision if you're in the market for a rooftop tent. Um, if you're new to the channel, again, welcome, glad to have you. Please make sure to uh, subscribe and, and hit that like button if, if you did find this video helpful. I've got a lot of cool content on the way uh, that I hope you'll stick around for. But until next time, get out and explore somewhere. All right, so that wraps up. Uh, I shouldn't say all right. I say all right a lot. <laughs>